Good people do nice things, but doing nice things does not make you a good person. Because sometimes people may do nice things that are not rooted in the truth of who they are. Relating with people in life, sometimes we could be swayed by their nice actions and nice gestures and possibly may think that these nice gestures means they are good people and as such we rely on them without even knowing who they are. So sometimes some people could have ulterior motives and then they cover it up with their nice actions and their nice words and sweet words and stuff that may make us feel okay with them. And without knowing who they are, we may rely on them or trust them or consider them to be part of our walking life. There is always a thin line between a nice person and a good person. Because on the outer world, when we look as men, people who are nice look like good people. But then good and nice are not the same thing. Because nice is just an act that can be put up or can be learned. I can learn how to be nice, great people in the morning and you know, treat people right, say the right things at the right time. But then being good is a virtue that it has to do with who you are, the quality of your being, your heart, how compassionate are you, how do you care about people, not just how do you act towards people because sometimes that could be fake and then you are all living in pretense. Constantly be on your guard against phony prophets. They come disguised as lambs, appearing to be genuine. But on the inside are like wild, ravenous wolves. And this is to tell you there are people that put on a character or an act that they are not. And sometimes the people we meet along our lives that disappoint us are such people that somehow what they portrayed at first when we made them is not who they really are. This video is to make you be more vigilant. What should I look for? How should I be aware of such people? What should I pay attention to when I meet people? What should be where my mind goes to? What should be my consideration before allowing people to impress me with their actions such that I am bought in without even assessing who they are? So the number one point I want to make is do not be impressed with charisma. Pay attention to character. Do not be impressed with charisma. Look for character. Charisma speaks of a personal attractiveness of a person and how interesting they are such that they influence others with this attractiveness and this interestingness that they have. But then character is about the quality of a person rooted in who they are, rooted in the genuity of their personality. So what are you to look for when you meet people? Not their charisma, how sweet they talk, how nice they treat people, or how nice they treat you. Sometimes those attractiveness could be about the physical things you see about that person, that they are welcoming, you know, they smile, their smile is good. So that's so nice, that's a nice gesture. When someone smiles good at you, you like, I love your smile. But then that smile does not mean that they have a good heart. So you are to look for character, not to be impressed with charisma. A good tree can't produce bad fruits, and a bad tree can't produce good fruits. But then in our time in this world that we live today, we realize that there are people that may have bad intentions and then they are out to get the good people. They are out to get people who are naive. They are out to get people to buy people with their nice gestures. That's what fraudsters do. That's what deceivers do. That's what manipulators do. It even applies in relationships that someone can come off very nice such that to you it's interpreted as this is a good person for example a guy that loves a lady so this guy could take the lady out because he wants to woo her so he talks sweet he talks right does all the nice things doesn't try to disrespect her know how to put himself in a place that he respects her boundaries he opens the door of the car for her he owes her hand through the stairs so she wouldn't miss a step smiles right just do all the good things, all the right things, and such are charisma. They do not define who the person is in the entirety of their being. It does not speak to their character. That may just speak to what they do. So do not be impressed with charisma. Look for character. A good person can be nice, and that, that could be rooted in who they are. But then we have so many fakes and pretending people today who act nice, 
but are not good people. When you are not impressed by people's charisma, you allow time to reveal their fruits, the fruits of who they are. Because with time, you get to know what do they really want with all this niceness. What do they really want with all this good treatment? What do they really want with all these things that they are trying to do? Buying gifts, doing this, doing that, trying to say the right things, never trying to miss a step, you know, acting like they are perfect. So what do they really want? By the time you don't allow the charisma of what they portray to deceive you or get you so impressed that you are like, okay, I'm all in, you start relying on them. You will give yourself the ability to allow time to reveal their fruits because fruits takes time. Check a tree that is planted. A tree is not planted today and the fruit comes off today. Most trees take time to mature before the fruit starts showing up. So when you get to meet a human being, yeah, they do good things. You appreciate them for the nice things they do to you. But then allow time to reveal their heart and what they really want in relation with you. Allow time to reveal their fruit because fruit takes time to show up. Number two, is their niceness exclusive to you or all inclusive? What do I mean by this? Sometimes people could be nice to you just because they want something from you. So now they come over as nice people, but we've already settled the fact that niceness does not mean goodness because niceness could be an act and goodness is a virtue. So now someone could come up to you acting all nice, acting, trying to do all the right things, but then they are only doing these things exclusively to you. And that is a problem to check me. Because if they are, if this niceness is an exclusive thing just to you, it's because they want something from you. How do they treat the people that do not really mean much to them? The people they may not really get anything from. The people, the waiter at the bar. How do they treat such a person? How do they treat the house girl? How do they treat such people that they can't get anything from? That they can only do them a favor. How do they talk about those people? not just how they treat. So those are the things to check me. How are they talking about these people to these people? How do they portray themselves to other people who they may not be inclined to in terms of they want to get something from or they want to get a favor from or they want to see them in a certain way or they need a validation from? How do they treat these other people? So if their niceness is exclusive to you, that is a problem. That should be what you pay attention to. Because if it's exclusive, it means one day you may be like others. But if it's all inclusive, you could know that this has a trait to who they are. If someone is just nice to you, excluding other people, they are not that nice to other people, that could give you a clue to who you are dealing with. Pay attention to the all inclusive actions they give to other people who may not mean much to them. Don't be swayed by the good actions they portray towards you or their niceness to you. The third point is test all spirits. Ask God for discernment. 1 John 4 verse 1 says, My dear friends, don't believe everything you hear. Carefully weigh and examine what people tell you. Not everyone who talks about God comes from God. So this passage was talking about testing all spirits because there are a lot of fake phony preachers who are liars deceiving people but then you can apply this to life and your relationship to human beings generally because there are so many fake people walking around doing nice things speaking right but then their character do not line up with what they say and by the time you rely or give yourself to such people that's where you'll be hot and then you'll be like i wouldn't believe that they would do such a thing i thought that they were good people yeah you thought but you did not know what do you do? Because sometimes it's really impossible to get to really know who people are. And that's why you allow time to study who they are. And you never try to rely on people who are there for real. Should I get myself to be their friends? Or am I getting on equally yoked by being around them? By talking with them? By relating with them in this level? Because it doesn't mean you shouldn't talk to people as a Christian. 
No, that only Adam Dao, they are sinners, I don't want to talk with them. No, no, no. Don't be religious about that. You can talk to people, but then giving yourself to people and relating to some level and talking about some deep things about who you are to them, there should be limits and boundaries to such things. So you test all spirits, which means on your own, you can't really test all spirits, but then you can allow the word of God to help you or give you insights and then allow the spirit of God, who is your advantage? Is your helper, is your counselor? It's your comforter, allow him to counsel you when you meet people such that you take that advantage. What does this person really want with me? Yeah, they are nice. Somehow I'm impressed. Somehow I like the way they treat me. But then I still do not know who they are and what they really want. Are they here to fake it all and pretend and deceive me? Or are they here for good? God help me. No, the Holy Spirit can speak to you in ways that through your peace, if you are with them and then something really still seems off, that's a sign that you should be careful. No, they may be doing all the right things, but then something is still off. That's something for you to consider and pay attention to. That's why the Bible says, beware, be vigilant, be sober. Like it's telling you, just allow all your antennas to be all up. Don't be naive. Don't be so bought in that you don't pay attention. Hope this video has been a blessing to you. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am Uwem Akpan. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up and share this video to as many people as you think need to hear this. And keep following up with this channel. Subscribe, comment, share, do everything that you can do to help this channel grow. Thank you so much for being here and for watching the video. God bless you. See you in the next video. Bye.